So this is my Hackintosh update video. And I'm doing this video just because uh, a lot of people had a lot of questions about uh, how I got the dual quad cores running and how I even installed a quad core anyway. And just a few other questions about KX and stuff like that. So this is kind of an update to that. Um, as you can see, this computer is not in my room anymore. It's being fully used. Um, it's com totally overpowered <laughs> for what it's doing. It's just an audio computer right now. I still do video sometimes, but not regularly. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of people that thought it wasn't possible to get dual quad cores running. But obviously it's true. I'm going to show you in the BIOS right now. You can see right now that there's a whole bunch of them on eBay running dual quad cores. Okay, so the question of whether or not this computer can run dual quad cores is ridiculous. Um, but the thing is, you have to have the right motherboard. You see, this is the 690. My camera works bad, and it's running dual quad cores. Okay, you see it right now, the E5345. I'm going to go down to the memory and show you how much memory I'm running. I'm running 12 gigabytes, which is, I mean, you know, more than enough for this computer. Um, 16 would be nice, but it would probably be overkill. Um, I think 8 will probably throttle it. 4 definitely isn't enough. That's how much I initially had. Um, but yeah, it's running great. You have to have the MY171 motherboard, though. And you have to have a, a, a version A02 or above. Originally, I had the version A01. And it didn't work with the dual quads. Okay, there's a lot of forms on this online. Um, so you need to do your research. But I'm booting into the Hackintosh right now. And as you can see, it actually is going to boot pretty fast. I'm running a 74 gigabyte Raptor, an old, old hard drive I had. But it still is pretty fast compared to your normal drive. Boots up real fast. Here's my Wi Fi. Uh, my camera works pretty bad again. I'm trying to do two things at once, but I'm going to go to um, about my Mac right here and show you that the Hackintosh is picking up the, du the, the dual cores, uh, quad cores just fine, and along with my 12 gigabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, I would say everything in this Hackintosh is working really good. Um, I got the graphics working real good. I'm running a 210 GT right now. Um, I had to edit. Um, the P-list um, to get it working right. Um, there's some good tools that you can download. They're escaping my memory right now. Uh, but like I said, go to these forums, forums on the 690. You can see that. So there's my config. going to show you that the DVD player is working. And you're like, why is it a big deal that the DVD player is working? Because that's basically proof that the graphics are working right in your Hackintosh. The internet's working. It's on Wi-Fi right now. I found a little wireless end dongle that works real good. You can pay like $10 for it. Just make sure you look it up. I think it's a Patriot. It should say whether or not it supports uh, Mac OS. So you can see I'm going between pages. There's a two times E5345 quad cores again. So now we're back at the bootloader screen. I'm going to show you Windows 7. And like I said, you have to make sure you have the right motherboard to run the dual quad core configuration. And the 690, I actually had to go online to eBay and buy one for $40 and install it myself because I actually bricked the previous one, upgrading the BIOS, actually downgrading the, bio, the BIOS from A07 to A01 because the A01 will work with dual core with uh, quad core pro processors uh, on any version of the motherboard that comes with the 690. There's like four different versions, and then there's like five different versions of the MY171. So you have to make sure you have a MY171 to run the dual quad core uh, quad cores. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting into Windows 7 now. I'm running a slightly slower hard drive, so it takes a little while to boot up. But uh, it's still pretty speedy once you get into it. Um, the Geekbench scores 
are around the 10,000 range, almost touching 11,000 in 64-bit mode. And uh, you can see there's my DAW right there. And that's basically all this computer is doing right now. You can even see my little Mac keyboard right there. And my PreSonus Firebox. One little kit got you with the uh, Mac side that I haven't figured out yet is that I just can't get the firewall working. Um, I don't know, maybe if you know how to do it. Yeah, apparently there's a whole bunch of weird stuff. A lot of people are having that problem. But it's kind of a big bummer for me. Um, that's the last big hurdle I have to overcome with this Hackintosh. I'm using the TI cheap chipset. It just doesn't work. It recognizes it, but it doesn't boot it. It should work natively in Mac OS, but whatever. But here's my WEI. It's a 4.5. It's low. There's all my other specs. Um, the processor is getting like a 7.5. Memory is 7.5. It's about the same with my 1090T that I use for my main machine. Um, and the Geekbench scores are about 10,000 to 11,000. So it's a great computer. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, just leave a comment. If you need some kicks or whatever, just let me know. But that's the vid. Hope this helped.